Oh, wow, it's cute. Here, okay, Oma, you want it? Because I don't want it. <laughs> You're welcome. I just saved your life. Opa. Stop it, Opa. You're so cool. Oh. And then he starts going on a whole thing about Chinese people. All they do is steal from other countries. But I guess you did steal a Korean girl. Can I tell you guys the weirdest thing that happened on our flight today? I wanted to tell you while we were on the flight, but I didn't want to embarrass the flight attendant because she's such a nice lady. We flew Delta. We usually fly Korean Air, but you know what? I've been talking a lot of shit, okay? I've been talking so much shit. I've been so scared to stay at any hotel owned by the Samsung family, the Joseon family, the Korean Air family, even the president I did a whole video on, so. Anyway, we flew Delta, okay? So they have like half flight attendants that speak Korean. And you know what? I think one of them lied on their job interview. I think one of them lied on their resume because the person that kept coming on the intercom, it literally was me reading Korean. It's just like the TikTok. She doesn't know how to do Tiosugi, which I don't know how to do Tiosugi. You have to like take pauses. She didn't know where to pause and I don't know where to pause. So it's oh like monotone robot voice like this. Please put your seatbelt on like this and then tomorrow we are gonna be landing at one of the service will be out the other one. And her Korean was potentially worse than mine. The way she was pronouncing some things, potentially worse than mine. Um, hold on, let me get on this big camera because I need to show you exactly what we're working with today. Do you see that? That's, that's like a parasite growing on top of my eyeball. That's a second eyeball on this eyeball. I've got a couple of missions today, okay, Oppa? Oppa? <laughs> today, I'm gonna do a couple of things, all right? Oppa, can you pass me, um, my water? <laughs> oh, I'm Oppa today. You know what's crazy? In America, I was cringing. In Korea, I'm like, Opa! Anyway, I gotta take care of this. I'm gonna go to the Korean pharmacy because I've been trying to take care of this guy in the US for I don't know, God knows how long. And I'm gonna see if they have any sort of medicine. I have a couple of other things that I need to pick up. So we're just gonna be running around town. Why do I feel like I live here? Why am I running errands all of a sudden? Which, speaking of traveling and things going on to my body, I wanna thank Kara for collaborating with me on this video. I'm so passionate about my vitamins these days, making sure that I'm on top of my vitamins. I mean, just all the freaking time, but especially when I'm traveling. But it's so interesting because for a while, I just thought that vitamins were like a one size fits all. Do you know what I mean? Like if it works for you, why wouldn't it work for me? So I would just take all these TikTok recommendations and run with it and turns out, that's not how it's supposed to be. I literally got nauseous at one point because I was taking so many random vitamins that I didn't even know what were doing to me. So with care of, they take care of you. <laughs> I feel like I should have gone into marketing or something, honestly. <laughs> it's super easy to find out which vitamins you might need. So they have this quick quiz that asks you details about your diet, your lifestyle, your health goals, and then they recommend the right vitamins and supplements. My main focus was on just energy, gut health, brain health, because I'm like mentally deteriorating. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But just overall feeling good, that's what I wanted. And plump skin. I just love the high quality of care of, okay? All their vitamins are made with clean ingredients that are backed by the latest science and research and I do feel like it's effective and I'm gonna tell you why okay so for one they have these daily packs don't worry the packaging is made from like plant-based film that's compostable but they make it so easy for me to not shuffle around with like a hundred different pill bottles and traveling is so much better with these and since it's so easy I never skip out on my vitamins especially when I'm busy super hectic never that's actually how they do vitamins in Korea you get daily packs of vitamins in Korea but I always thought it was cool when I watch K-dramas and they rip off and pack. I feel like I'm in my own little K-drama every time I take my vitamins and I love it, okay? My daily blend is probably going to be different from yours since it's catered to you, but if you're interested in my favorites, of course, we got to get the fish oils, omega-3 fatty acids, great for heart and your brain. I love the fact that Kerov does like, like, I guess different types of supplements, so they have adaptogenic mushrooms. I'm a huge mushroom fanatic now, a oh, huge. This is a blend of like three mushrooms with over 2,000 years of traditional use in Chinese and Japanese medicine. It helps with immunity. Also, if you want anything additional, you gotta get the, the, the chia flax. Your poop, your digestion, you're welcome, okay? I throw it in some yogurt, keeps me regular. So take care of quiz and see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click on the link below and use my code BAM50 for 50% off your first order of care of. That's linked below and use code BAM50 for 50% off your first order of care of. And thank you care of for sponsoring today's video and Let's go to Hongdae. Opa. Okay. Here's a couple of things you gotta bring to your Korea trip, okay? We're going out for the first time and I gotta bring my own trash can. <laughs> they don't have trash cans outside, so you eat an ice cream cone, you got the cone sleeve, you gotta bring your own trash can. 
cute. This is her dog. Also bring deodorant. They don't have deodorant or minty toothpaste. So we gotta pack this because we're going to home day today and we gotta do some shopping. Okay, we're gonna do like a quick outfit of the day, but mainly I need you guys to help me decide something. I have two shoe options. I'm thinking the hit version, right? Would be the new balances. Throw on the sneakers, make the outfit look a little bit more sporty chic. Put my hands in my pockets. And then the second option is a little bit dressier because I feel like everybody kind of dresses up in Korea. The next option, I have yet to wear these. I bought them for, you'll see what I bought them for, but. Okay, which option, Oma? I think this one's too formal. I don't even know why I put it on. Honey, which one do you like? The New Balances, huh? Bro, what's wrong with me? Like, why do I not look cool and like cute, sexy, hot, and irresistible things? All right, we're going with the sneakers. Have you guys seen the ceiling lamp? It's kind of cool. Uh, what is she said? Why didn't you pick up my cup? Uh, We've been here for less than, I don't even know how many hours, like five hours, and my mom's already making plans for tomorrow breakfast. Um, what's happening here? They're selling it. Sis, do not touch. Did you not see that sign? That's so rude. <laughs> Don't touch that either. Okay, I gotta just leave. But I wanna play this. Start. Play. Play. Oh yeah, killing it. Aren't you supposed to sit on the car? So that means, does that go up your butt? Here's my problem. What's I was your problem? expecting in my head for things to be cheap. It's not cheap? 89? Do you love it? <laughs> no, no, let's go. See, the problem with the shopping in Korea is they have so many options. It, yes, okay. And we, then there's like 10 stores. And they all have like a million different options. And here's another thing that we gotta watch out for. This happened every time when I was younger. I don't think it's gonna happen anymore because times have changed and Korea is in, okay? But back then I used to buy Korean popular trends, mm -hmm. bring it home, and everyone make fun of me because Korea was not trendy <laughs> back then. They're like, why are you looking like that? When I first came to America, I only had my clothes from China. Oh, I feel yeah. so out of place. For the longest time, I've yeah. been wearing my Chinese outfit until one day, one of my family friends took me to Abercrombie and I finally feel like I fit it. That was the day yes. your American dream came true. Yes. Look at this. <gasps> that flower is so cute. That's kind of a vibe. He's trying this one on. Oh yeah, that's actually so cute. Okay, really? You're just gonna hand my mom everything? You look so cute. This is actually a vibe. Oh, you don't have pockets though. I think you should, I think you should get it. All right, Opa. You should buy it, Opa. <laughs> Opa, you wanna buy right. me one too? <laughs> He's making me hold up his phone right now. No, 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 I can't do this. Good. I look too much like a Opa. Not a cute Opa. Said it told him to go this, okay, way. this way. And we're just... Going this way, we're trusting him. Follow the only non Korean well, in store. the group. I'm showing you a very special place. Okay, I trust a you. Very, very special. I believe place. you. But how is the water keep coming? But it's kind of making me want to pee a little bit, so I'm gonna go use the restroom. This is kind of a tricky restroom. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's like mirrors everywhere. And I push. Whoa! What a fascinating restroom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is kind of cool. Oh my gosh. Like, I think at night this would be really, really creepy though. And I can hear the wind outside. Okay, BRB, I'm gonna go pee. rock has a key on it. I mean, I'm assuming it's for the toilet paper roll, but I don't know. I'm getting freaked out in here. I'm gonna go. What's happening? Am I? I'm about to panic. Oh my, oh my gosh. Wait a damn minute. I'm gonna start screaming. I'm gonna be getting started. Okay, so, ah, don't panic. Don't panic, there's no need to panic. Oh my god, okay, okay, why am I starting to panic? 
be washing my hands again. But okay, okay, okay. 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 I just need to calm down. There is nothing in here that's gonna freak me out. So why am I freaking out? Crisis averted. That was so freaky. Here's what I learned, and I'm so glad that I learned this on TikTok. These are glass cups, right? I feel like in the US, they don't really do that. They just give you like a plastic to-go cup when you get drinks so that when you're done with your meal or your little dessert, you can take it to go. In Korea, it's illegal to order a to-go cup and sit down. And then you have to get one per set. person, right? Yeah, you have to get one drink per person, and it's illegal to just get a to-go cup because they don't want you to use plastic. So if you're gonna sit down, you have to get sit down cup, which is this. I'm sure if you don't finish, you can ask them to do it, but yeah, they're really serious about it. It's like Korean etiquette that I really didn't know about until a TikTok ago. Be honest with you guys, I feel the safest in the streets. I feel the safest out here. I don't know why I'm getting so much social anxiety today. I think I'm gonna chalk it up to the fact that I didn't sleep a lot. And maybe my schedule's all weird, but my heart is like racing. Every time I go inside somewhere, my heart is racing like 100 miles an hour. It's actually very lively and pretty at night. Wow. Oh my god, the pharmacy is right next to the arcade. Hey, this little area is so cute too. The Korean pharmacy. Let's just hope no handsome nasty ass there. You know what I'm talking about, right? Stephanie has the biggest style. Don't they have like those um, drinks that everyone drinks? Like immunity yes. drinks? Are you no? talking about like one of those vitamin C drinks? <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> like literally called like Vita C or something? Lemona! I used to grow up drinking this. This is straight up, um, what's the one in America? Emergency? Yeah, it's that. Oh. Is this my first little cute clothing? Little experience? Yes it is, let's go! <laughs> the most aggressive duck for me. <laughs> the most intriguing part of this shop is I'm thinking I'm gonna get some PJs. Are these not cute? These are very cute. Look at this smiley face PJ. Like, look at this bare little shirt PJ. It smells like ramen and it's ramyeon. It smells so good. But I'm saving my stomach for our first dinner in Korea. And I think we're gonna go to the convenience store before we go back to the hotel. I am looking for- Put car behind you. Oh, oh my God. These cars like just- yeah, they do not play. Sorry, oopsie. They are straight on the sidewalk. Oh my gosh. I've just stepped foot into the 7-Eleven. Oh yeah, this is good. There is just a giant crab stick. Are those chicken wings? Baked chicken wings. That's insane. Hey, credit card. It's a photo lab. It's an unmanned photo lab, I think. I read about this, okay? You can get little headpieces, you go into these machines, pay the credit card, cool. and you get to take photos. Okay, let's go. Wow! Even this is kind of fun, no? Scooby, hold this, ready? Okay, I'm gonna pay. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Here's a clicker. <gasps> ready? Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, she's looking like a, in a skirt tie. Okay, now do a pretty face. That was a little underwhelming. That was really underwhelming. I thought it was gonna give me those cool edits. You know what I'm talking about? Like the movie theater edit? But instead, <laughs> what happened to that one? Oh, you select the ones you like. A <laughs> Google Cool! That's kind of cute. Cute! Oh, yes, I, I like the. Okay, ready? Let's see the mugshot. You like it? Yeah, this is giving. This is so weird. That was weird, no? Oh, it's moving. Yes. Wow, it's yeah. cute. Okay, Oma, you want it? Because I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom don't want it either. What you doing? I can digitally get this. Oh. I download video. I get the video. Wow. Oh, did you get it? Don't mess up my hair. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
Honey, I saw these on TikTok. What is if this? You get, um, shut up. We don't have one. <laughs> okay, this is like another self serve, I think, where you get your MBTI and then you put your coin in oh. and it gives you like a fortune of what oh your future God. is. Oh, I'm so, so stressed good. right now. They do not take cars. This is so cute. It's a flower shop. You know, I saw a TikTok. I kind of want to buy him flowers because I saw this TikTok that said men are gifted their first flower arrangement at their funeral. Let me buy you some flowers, baby. You look like you're about to cry. Come here, mommy got you. Which color you want, huh? I thought I'm here, Opa, today. Oh yeah, Opa. I do a video where my mom dresses me for a day because I feel like the style choice would be completely different. I've got so much hair. We're completely lost. Like, I don't know where we are. This is definitely not on the on the plan. You're welcome, I just saved your life, Opa. I'm trying to get him to try on anything that's black because you need some clothes. Okay, the crochet I like. There's a mirror right behind you. I think it adds a cool detail. Like you like it? <laughs> it's forty dollars. So different, honey. Everything is so different. My mom keeps pointing out that you only buy black clothes. But I think you'll look better in this. <laughs> like that wet latex look, you know? One thing about Korea, sorry, I'm on my phone, is that everything is kind of one size fits all. So it's not optimal, but. Oh, Oma! You are so cool. Stop it, Oma. You're so cool. <laughs> like I'm getting lost further and further into the depths of this alleyway. I feel like I've been seeing the same five stores over and over again in different fonts, but I'm gonna surprise my mom with the next place because this is one of the places that I have on today's list of things to do because it's one of the main things that I feel like I flew across the world for this very moment right here. I found it. I don't want to tell my mom, but I found it. Oh, Dink, yes. There's something so distinct. Here, take it. She's eyeing it. Oma, you know where we're going? Do we have Chocho and Bebe? I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. That made me really depressed. I don't know if I'm emotional today or if it's lack of sleep or what. This guy never calls me Korean for some reason because I'm not fluent in Korean and he's fluent in Mandarin. So he thinks that he's more Chinese than I'm Korean. I finally called a Korean taxi and he says, look at you, you look little at you. Hungarian. Okay. So good at this. Thank you. Opa. Okay. I want to gag. <laughs> Brother. What were y'all chatting? My mom was miserable and I knew it, okay? Because of the... Yes. The man was oh, a chatty old let man. Let me tell you, that's like a Kyoe address right there. Okay. Like a church oh, address. My mom kept out loud and he was not getting the hint. Not getting the hint. I and he was that. really um, very opinionated. Okay, I took a video. It started out cute. He's like, oh, my son's an engineer in Japan. And then he talks to the country. <laughs> Here's how we did this with a bad car right the minute we got in the car, okay? The minute that we get in the car from Hongdae, he starts complaining. He's like, there's so many games, like so many fucking foreigners. And then he was like, don't you think so? And my mom goes, I wouldn't know. I'm a foreigner. <laughs> Shut up. And then he was like, oh, where are you guys coming from? And she's like, oh, America. He was complaining about foreigners? <laughs> like we get in the car and I guess he's like, I'm finally picking up some locals. And then he starts going on a whole thing about Chinese people. What? <laughs> he said, so China wasn't that developed back then, but now they're super developed and all they do is steal from other countries. <laughs> I guess you did steal a Korean guy. And then he was like, Americans with money can't even follow Chinese people with money these days. <laughs> My mom said, in that short of a car ride, I even know that the man is 70 years old. <laughs> Oh my, you didn't tell him I'm Chinese? She literally was about to go, my son-in-law is Chinese. But she was like, keep it calm, keep it calm. She said it was right here, it was right here. And then she did it, she was like, put it back in. <laughs> 
And then at the end, I should have just been like, actually, I'm Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> because this man, it's not funny, okay? There's some real crazy bad blood between the two countries. But like, no one my age thinks about stuff like that. I guess 70 year olds do. Even my mom doesn't think about it. She's 60. But he was like, you know, they still sell CDs. I haven't seen a CD in Korea in forever because we're so developed. 아침에 새벽 시장 가면요. 그 이제 우리나라 같으면 가락 시장 가면 우리나라는 벌써 가락 시장 가면 전기로 다 아직 그 원동기로 일본은 변화를 시작하고 가장 또 특이한 건 뭐냐면 지금 저 전자 상가 가면요. But you know what's crazy? I really learned something about myself. I really am not confrontational. Because I'm like, <laughs> and I'm thinking in my head, this is so bad. But I'm so scared. Well, how did that come from cold noodles? So we're going to go downstairs. Um, This is the plan. My mom wants us to go eat so that she can immediately go to sleep. She says she might not even shower. She wants to roll into also that car ride. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You know that my mom and I will fight to the death for you. Do you understand that? Say yes or no. Yeah. Um, The energy was off in there. We could not ask him to turn the AC on, okay? That oh, man, really? the energy was off. Even my mom was sweating. She said, and my mom gets so cold all the time. <laughs> but it was so hot in that car. So basically, here's the backstory. I get into the car, it's like literally 80 degrees. There's no air circu circulation. You know, sometimes there's at least some sort of ventilation. There's nothing. So I'm like, huh, that's weird. <laughs> so I, I try to keep flipping the, the AC vent in the backseat. Nothing. And then I'm like, okay. Maybe everyone's comfortable, whatever. So I rolled down the window. And now it's like we're roll driving on the bridge, like almost highway. My window's opening. And then Omar turns around. Omar's like, are you hot? And I'm like, yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> so Omar asked the driver to turn on the AC. So he turned it on only in the front, not in the back at the lowest gr thing. And I'm like, okay, fine. After five minutes, he turns it off. <laughs> I think I got the hit, so I just kept the window open and then I'm, I'm like sticking my head out with my tongue <laughs> out like a dog. <laughs> and like I knew, I knew the minute because Koreans are really strong with noon tea, especially in Korea, it's crazier than Korean Americans. The minute that you're fiddling with the vents, uh -huh. he knew. He knew what was going on in the back. <laughs> He's like laughing. He's like, yeah, hey, keep trying. <laughs> What's interesting to me is like the last car ride you guys were talking. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought it was cool. This car ride y'all talking to, I was like, oh man, these Korean adjusties are so nice. <laughs> oh no, we were scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, your mom's hitting it off with him. <laughs> Why would they have chemistry? My mom's dying. <laughs> I thought there was some sexual tension. <laughs> Let's go eat because I'm about to fall asleep. I think I'm going to fall asleep during dinner. We just walked in and these are, this is the directory. Okay. Oh. Are these all restaurants? All the restaurants. And this is connected to the hotel? So yeah. Very so I mean. convenient. And then watch us be so tired of going out. We just eat here every day. Just, I'm kidding. <laughs> So we're eating the cold noodle that Stephanie's been craving. My expert experience, I think that's puricha. Is it puricha, Oma? Oksusucha? Oksusucha? Make corn tea. Oh, It tastes cool. a little corny, doesn't it? Yeah. Like it's kind of corny like you. <laughs> oh my god, my mom was meeting a friend last time she came to Korea and she was so sleepy, like we're all so sleepy right now. And her friend said that all she did was come to Korea to show the top of her head because she kept falling asleep like this. <laughs> what? Have, has he ever thought about maybe he's a little boring? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he is boring! What is the pepper for? So it's, you put the soy sauce and you dip the mandus in there. Oh. So one thing I really want to do this time is go to like a traditional Korean meal has like a hundred side dishes on the table, oh my gosh. You know, I'll, I'll be honest, when I first started dating you, I'm like, there's just a million, it's just a bunch of cabbage. Mm. But now I can taste the difference yes. and I can appreciate all the different side dishes. It's the Korean in me, I have to have variety in every meal. This is just like um, a daikon radish thinly sliced. This 
It's so good. Kimchi in Korea hits different. Wow, this is so beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is basically hot mustard that you gotta throw in there. And I like a lot of hot mustard. Like, I want it to be almost wasabi burn inside of my- you Can you get the- way more than that. Honey, why do you look so okay. confused? So basically, he's saying that the broth is so good. You shouldn't taint the broth with the vinegar or the hot mustard, which I literally oh just did. Oh my <laughs> god. They seem upset that you ruined it. Like, the, the guy came over and like, what the hell? Well, he took off his mask, that's how upset he was, okay? It's, it's different. It's more like, a little more meaty. Mm -hmm. It's like, kind of, yes. A little more brothy. Yes. Honey, just put vinegar if you want. Honey, don't feel peer pressure. It's your food. Honey, it's your food. And this okay, is what I got. Vinegar? Yes, do a little. Is it good? The layer, the dough is surprisingly thin and the meat is so flavorful. Mm. It's actually more flavorful than the entree. Wow. Yeah, wow. Have more vinegar. I think you need it. Right now? Add a lot. Yeah. You, I'm sorry. you need it. Add more. We use the whole bottle. Listen, I like it when it's sour. Yeah, it's just refreshing. Like, I feel like I'm a student and I'm not getting judged. I'm so stressed right now. <laughs> Wow. Okay, we're at this little eat. Yes. That might be too big. But that's too big. That's too big. You're like one of those guys at the gym with a gallon bottle of water. This is so cute. This is right under the hotel, but they sell bananas with almonds. They have a chizu chumapin. These are the eggs that I love. We need to get these for tomorrow. They even have like pieces of chicken shaped like this. My mom's coming in with the snacks. Oh my. My mom's getting that you can get in the US, but she says it tastes different. I mean, just look at all the ramen, and this is the tiniest little market, but this is the cutest small cup what is of that? spaghetti. Whoa. Spam ramen. You think there's spam inside? Oh my god, that's oh, so yeah. cool. Oh yeah, how heavy this is. Yeah. Okay, that's getting packed with me. Home to USA? Yes, sir. I don't have this. <gasps> I don't have this. I don't have this. I've never tried this. Coming home with me. <laughs> like, what are you? Why are you so long? They have the coolest frozen food section where you can just get microwavable heat nub. That's like a cheese kimchi bukumbap, like a cheesy kimchi fried rice. They have regular fried rice. Oh, hold on, why is this one called Utah Cup Bap? They just sell corn in a bag. <laughs> I knew that that spam ramen was a good deal. That's like the only thing that's good, that's really saving me right now in this sleepiness. My mom's just whipping it out in the middle of this like establishment. There's some drama, there's some tea with some cute little Korean kids. These little boys. Okay, we get into the hotel elevator with these two boys. It's definitely two brothers. And they're in the elevator and we get in and immediately they look at us and they look at each other and they kind of giggle and my mom thinks it's because of your tattoos tattoos are still not like the super most common I thing tattoo. in korea especially like um i guess as much as you have i think so they think i'm a gangster <laughs> no i think Ooh. certain parts of korea there's more people with tattoos yeah. and then certain parts there's less of but maybe they like grew up in Gangnam and they never saw a tattoo in their life so then do a little giggle but it's like a cute giggle then we start talking in the elevator and i'm just talking to him in english and then right before they get off they look at each other and go <laughs> which means fascinating <laughs> and then they get off and it was so funny my mom starts busting out laughing in the elevator before they even get off Guess what? <laughs> yeah in a couple days yeah that could be you <laughs> oh my god they knew that uh we just ate and maybe it wasn't the best thing in the world mm, that's okay. so pretty <laughs> 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 Today was kind of a weird day. Not really what I had in mind. Let me explain what I had in mind. I think it's my lack of sleep. That's where it got weird. And then also, I think it's this. I think it's just gel lag, babe. <laughs> How is that? 
Let me lay back down. This is my therapy session. Okay, so I was jet lagged. I wasn't feeling that great this morning because I hadn't slept in forever. And then I don't, you know one thing I don't like about Koreans? That sounds so, whoa. I'm Korean. One thing I don't like about being in Korea is that everyone is overly polite and I have to use so much effort to go overly polite and I feel like I'm already kind of overly polite so it becomes like this overly polite game like I just don't like it I don't like it okay so for example I really hate this and this might be a me problem but I don't like it when our the taxi drivers they kept getting out and like bowing to us and it really yeah. irks me and so then I have to go and I'm like okay you bow 45 degrees I'm about 100 degrees my forehead is about to be on this parking lot floor unless you stop this right now I just see not playing games with you please stop they keep referring to me in third person the first taxi driver who's so nice mm -hmm. i was like oh da -da -da -da, about like this area and then he was like oh i think you will like it but instead of saying i think you will like it he said i think respectful word for mrs customer will like it bro well you don't feel like it's like role playing you're the queen like oof. no it makes me uncomfortable and i'm like and then every time we walk in, there's like five dudes like going like this. So I'm like, okay, here we go. Whee! That was taking a mental strain on me, okay? And then the f***ing sheeps. That got me feeling weird. Today, I thought I was going to knock out like half of my shopping list. Instead, I got a f***ing free Spam Robin. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please let me know in the comments. Tomorrow's a new day and I promise tomorrow I will be more pumped because I'm gonna get so much good sleep tonight. I love you guys so much. Make sure to... What did the marketing genius say? Just don't yawn. <laughs> what did the marketing genius say? Make sure to take... Care of... Yourself. <laughs>